What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American here today to react and learn about some of the most Canadian phrases ever. And by that I mean sentences that Canadians have spoken that just make you go, you're a Canadian! You are. That's what you are. You just said the most Canadian thing ever, and you should be proud of it, because it was Canadian. And <laughs> as an example, I have some American phrases, just to, to show some examples, like, according to Google, the most common American phrases would be, piece of cake. <laughs> it's a piece of cake. That is, that is actually something I would say in real life. This, this is not wrong. It's not rocket science. <laughs> These are really good, actually. The American ones. Ah, uh, we're just shooting the breeze. Break a leg. <laughs> when you're trying to uh, give someone good luck, you tell them to break a leg. Yeah. Uh, are these spoken in Canada? Are these actually like purely American sayings? All right. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. This is about the most Canadian phrases. So I think this should be actually pretty funny. Let's take a look here. <laughs> in the 1970s, the CBC did a radio contest to come up with an equivalent to the USA's as American as apple pie in the format of as Canadian as blank. Okay, what they come up with. There were many submissions like as Canadian as beavers, as Canadian as syrup or hockey. But the winning phrase was as Canadian as possible under the circumstances. Wow, that's almost like a, a mantra or a motto, something to live by. <laughs> that's a little profound. As Canadian as possible under the circumstances. That's all, that's all you can ask anyone to be. Isn't that right? Just be as Canadian as you can, given the circumstances. <laughs> Canadians loved this answer for being precisely vague and reflective on the general spirit of compromise and understanding in a response to challenge. Wow, that got kind of deep. This is supposed to be just funny, silly Canadian phrases, but this, this is nice. You should, we should all strive to be as Canadian as possible under the circumstances. Wow, I love this. This is the way, eh? <laughs> I'm sorry that I said I'm sorry. Said no American ever. This is purely a Canadian thing. I'm sorry that I said I'm sorry. Do people actually say that? Like, that is just next level politeness. Like, now, is it is it when you're saying sorry too much? And you're like, I, I'm sorry, I'm saying sorry so much. Like, that kind of thing? Or, that's very polite, but then you're just, you're just getting them more irritated. You're just saying, I'm sorry, I'm saying sorry, I can't stop saying sorry, I'm sorry. You know, you just can go on forever. You'd be stuck there all day, and it's very Canadian. Yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> That's a Canadian thing. I've seen that a few times now. Yeah, no, for sure. That is a Canadian thing. Canadians do that. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. Like, if you think about it. <laughs> All right, these are good. I recently and somewhat awkwardly lean learned that effing the dog meaning to laze about doing nothing is uniquely a Canadian thing. I'm sorry, what? I have never heard this in my life. Is this phrase effing the dog, F word, the dog, is that a Canadian phrase? Like, genuinely, do people say that? What is that supposed to mean? Well, it says to lay about and do nothing, but why does that mean that? What? It, huh. O okay. <laughs> That's, is that the most Canadian phrase? I had no idea. Um, it means I have difficulty doing something. I didn't actually know it meant something different in English. This is, this is true then? This is actually a phrase? Um... How Canadian is it that there is a French version? Effing the dog is already a weird phrase. Even weirder is that it's been translated and used in Quebec too? What? 
In America, they say, screw the pooch. That's true. We do say that. Huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. There you go. There you have it. One of the most Canadian phrases I didn't even know. Yep, I've heard that too. Really? Really? It's when you're not doing anything. When you're supposed to be doing something? Is that really... <laughs> Is that what that means? Okay. Sounds like that's for real. Uh, yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> this again. I mean, it's true. It's true. Yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> it's kind of endearing, though. It's kind of nice. <laughs> it it, it this is like this is something Canadian I really enjoy. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like it, it's it's so polite. It's so nice. Oh, I like it. I totally forgot to add bud at the end. Oh, that would do it. Yeah, no, for sure, bud. Yeah. Oh, it's so nice. Never understood why we think yeah, no. And no, yeah. Are Canadian things. I've heard Americans and Australians use them as well. Kinda. Kind maybe. Like Americans, depending on where you are, some Americans might say, like, yeah, no, no, yeah, but not commonly. Not commonly at all. But I would still know what you're saying. But I do associate it with being Canadian. Recently heard in Winnipeg. Hey, bud, after the bond spiel, want to pick up a twofer and head to my house for the moose game? Oh, my. What's a bond spiel? Hey, bud, after the bond spiel, want to pick up a twofer and head to my house for the moose game? It almost rolls off the tongue like a proper Canadian sentence. What is a bond spiel? That's my only question. What are you... It's a curling tournament. Really? <laughs> That makes this one of the most Canadian... That just took it up a notch. The Canadianism. After the bonds feel, want to pick up a twofer and head for my house for the moose game. Nice. Sounds like a good day, by the way. Sounds like a good day. I could hear the accent in that one. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's how you know. Um, hearing the... How are you now? Good, and you? Not so bad. From Letter Kenny in real life. Often, the show is remarkably true to life in Northern Ontario. Right, this like seems like such a Canadian conversation. Like, I can hear it. How are you now? Good, and you? Not so bad. Like, <laughs> it rolls off the tongue. I love it. Ben voyons donc. I, I don't know what this means. I hope it's appropriate. What does this mean? Um, hmm. French to English, slang. It's a common exclamation, the ben. What does it mean? It's like saying, well, well, well. What does this mean? Hmm. Maybe I need to translate it. Um, French translation? It means, oh, come on. Really? Is that what it means? Oh, come on. Ben voyons donc? I wonder if that, sometimes Google Translate doesn't do a perfect job at the translation. I don't know. Is that said often in French Canada? French Canadians? Cold enough for, cold enough for you? <laughs> yeah, the use of the of fur, F-E-R, like a word. Cold enough for you. Like, that sounds very Canadian to me. Tabernac. What? Tabernac? is a phonetic rendition of the term tabernacle, an ornamented box, communion, host, or... Wait, this is like a Catholic Christian thing. Tabernacle, that's... What does tabernacle mean? I don't feel like they're trying to use it in a religious sense. Huh? Is it a French thing? Maybe it's a French thing. Hmm. Let me see here. Can I translate it? Maybe I can translate tabernacle. Um, hmm, no, it doesn't quite work. Okay. Well, there will just be some mystery around that for me. Give your head a shake. What does that mean? Wait, what does that mean? Um, used to tell someone that they are being silly or unreasonable, and they should change the way they think about things. Give your head a shake. As a way to tell people they're being silly. <laughs> I've, I have never heard that in my life. That is, okay. 
give you, I'm going to say that to some Americans. <laughs> I'm going to confuse them. <laughs> if they're being silly or unreasonable, I'll be like, give your head a shake. And they're, they'll just stop them in their tracks. They'll be like, what? What did you just say? Give your head a shake. <laughs> uh, sorry, but can I just get by you? Yeah, exactly. Yes. <laughs> if you're trying to get by, very polite. That's also, you know, that's a corner, cornerstone of some of these most Canadian phrases ever. Very polite. This kind of thing would not, would rarely happen in America. Just a polite, sorry, but can I just get by you? I mean, an American might say, sorry, and like not really mean it. Just be like, or excuse me, or uh, watch out, but never, sorry, can I just get by you? No, 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 no. That would be quite rare. <laughs> I say scooch. Oh, oop. Oh, just gonna scooch by you there, bud. <laughs> yes. Yes! Yes, these are good. <laughs> I can hear the ca the Canadianism. And then, got your wood in for the winter yet? Really? What? <laughs> That's very Canadian. Got your wood got your wood in for the winter yet? Way she goes. What is that? <laughs> what does that mean? Way she goes? No idea. Um What do we have here? Uh any other good ones? Well, knee slap slaps knee. Well, I guess I should get going. <laughs> As a polite way to say you want to leave, but you can't really say you want to leave. Well, ah, I guess I should get going. Yep, that seems very Canadian, very polite. Every episode of Letter Kenny or Shorezy. Not familiar with Shorezy. Shorezy? Shorezy? Hmm. Um. Do not use the phrase effing the dog or dog effing outside of Canada. You will get weird looks. Yes, thank, thank you. Seriously, like, this is not something people say in America. This will get you, I don't know, they might have to take you in. Yeah, this might get the cops called on you. Don't say this. In America, it, it means literally what you're saying. It doesn't mean anything else. Uh, so, I just can't believe this is a Canadian thing. I legitimately had no idea this was exclusively Canadian. It is. It's Canadian. I, I've never heard of this. It, I'm shocked. Don't say it in America. <laughs> you're gonna get weird looks, to say the least. Oh my gosh. Wow. Pass me a serviette. I dropped my poutine on the Chesterfield. There we go. A couple of classic Canadian words. Okay. What else we have here? I also found this little discussion, which had a few. What's the most Canadian sentence you can think of? Uh, sorry there, bud, but I don't want to trade my moose for maple syrup. We can discuss it later over a game of hockey after the curling championships, eh? Yes. That's not as, this isn't quite as subtle. This is more like an, Ameri uh, a, an American stereotyping a Canadian with these ones, but <laughs> we'll read a couple, I guess. Eh, can we get to Timmy's real quick? Okay, that's something a Canadian might say. I'm sorry that you are sorry, eh? <laughs> yep. Um, easy. Customer, I'm sorry to bother you, but this isn't the coffee I ordered. I asked for a small, sorry. Tim Hortons, I am so sorry. The customer then got a free small coffee with the word sorry written on the lid. Wow, with those little chalk pens. That's very nice. That's just good customer service. Um, in America, I don't know. If, if you're willing to complain to restaurants or a gas station or a coffee house, they'll usually accommodate you and like fix the problem, whatever they got wrong, but they're not going to write sorry on it. Uh, but, I don't know, uh, service people in America are usually pretty nice, especially if you're nice to them. But this interaction, the, the writing the word sorry, that's a little extra. Um, watch Letter Kenny, sorry. Okay, okay. And finally, I have Chat GPT here, the AI chatbot that you can type in and ask questions. And it will try to use artificial intelligence to generate an answer. I will finish this by asking it, tell me the most Canadian sentence ever. We're asking the AI. And it says, the most Canadian sentence ever is, oh, oh, here we go. Oh, 
Sorry, but could you please pass me the maple syrup so I can pour it on, so I can pour it over my poutine while watching the hockey game? <laughs> I think I expected a little more out of the AI. Hold on, I can refresh it. Try again. Sorry, but could you please pass, wait, that's the same thing. Try again. Oh, this is all it's gonna give me? Um, let's say, oh, before I head out to play some hockey with my friends, um, give me, me the most, whoops, oh my gosh, me the most Canadian phrase ever. Give me the most Canadian phrase ever, AI. Come on. Hey, let's grab a double-double at Tim's and catch the hockey game on TV, eh? <laughs> they, oh my gosh, they used A at the beginning and the end of the sentence. Is that legal? Is that even legal in Canada? I don't know about this, but I thought I'd give it a try. These are not as entertaining as the, the Reddit discussion where actual Canadians were talking about the most Canadian phrases they've ever heard. These were actually funny and good and seemed to be from real life which I very much enjoyed. Uh, <laughs> these weren't like stereotypical Canadian things either. And that whole dog thing, phrase, I don't know in what parts of Canada that's going on, but that's, that's news to me. I learned something today. And I, uh, but I enjoyed all these, to be honest. It's quite, quite funny and entertaining. Anyway, if you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Canada, Canadian culture, stuff about Canada I have never learned before, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching, and see you next time.